Drop it to a Mobile. Turn. And back onto the right foot. Finesse shot. Oh, Immobile. I'm just trying to tell you guys. All right, guys. We'll check out we'll go to Teresa Glory. Oh, my God. All right, boys and girls. So, we're going to be jumping into another squad builder today. Today's squad builder, boys and girls, is pretty cheap. Okay, it's about 20 to 40k. I'm not too sure because obviously I sniped a lot of the players. So I got it for around 20 ish, sort of 25 ish k. But uh, if you don't snipe the players, it's probably going to cost you more like 40k. I want to do a cheap one today, boys and girls, because my squad builders have been progressingly, you know, getting more and more expensive. So I thought we'd, we'd tone it back down a bit. We'd go for something cheap, you know, something effective. And obviously, with prices coming down and where the market's just fucking dead, let's just be honest. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to, you know, do a little nice, cheap, cheap ass team. Anyway, Boys and girls, enough talking about it. Let's just jump straight into it. Hey, that's pretty good. I can't do this. I can't do this. Okay, boys and girls, so starting off in goal, we have got Ariola. I've never used Ariola this year, but I play against him, and this guy. He's just made of fucking, I don't know, elastic. He just is there, he's there, he saves it here. Stop it. Left back we've got Ismaili. It's purely here for the chemistry boys and girls. I just need that green link to Taysen. So I, I've used Taysen before and I really enjoyed him. So uh, and I didn't mind Ismaili when I used him either. He, he's fairly solid, he's got enough pace. But boys and girls, my two centre halves are absolutely mwah, just full of sweat. Edda Militao, boys and girls, I used this guy right at the start of the game for ages and he was just amazing. He's now like 4,000 coins, which is an absolute steal. I'm I'm telling you, he's one of the top tier centre backs in this game, despite his uh, his rating only being 81. I'm telling you, the guy has got everything. He's fast, strong, good at tackle. He's got the whole package. One of my favourite centre backs I've used. Kempembe equally looks very sweaty, boys and girls. I am a little bit scared of him because he does have the high high work rates. I don't like high high work rates. Other than the high high work rates, boys and girls, he looks absolutely incredible. Okay, great defensive stats, great physical stats, good pace, uh, and I think he's going to be an absolute beast paired up with Edmund Latau. I love it. In fact, it makes me really horny. At right back, boys and girls, we've gone with Mounier. Now, Mounier is absolutely fantastic in this game. I don't know what it is about him. I think it's probably his strength. The guy is just a beast at the uh, right back position. However, if you want to go with someone a little bit faster, you could go with uh, Malqui, who plays for, for um, Napoli. Is it Napoli? Yeah, he plays for Napoli. He's equally solid, but I, I thought we'd go with Mounier. But onto the midfield, boys and girls. So we've already talked about Taysom, but like I said, I absolutely freaking loved him in the squad builder. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, I, I can't even remember. I, I used him. I absolutely loved him. He was my favorite player in that squad build I think and uh, he's just a beast like he's got everything pace uh, long shots finishing uh, dribbling he, he is absolutely immaculate obviously he's positioned at centre mid we won't be playing him there and I'll talk about that in a second the other two CMs boys and girls are just really really solid like they're just all 70s and 80s in, in stats they're just absolutely fantastic beasts you Cyprian as well I think my last squad builder and he was completely fine obviously I'm needing him here for the chemistry but he is fantastic you could go with Awa here but Awa doesn't quite have the defensiveness that uh, Cyprian has but yeah like I said Cyprian was really good when I used him. It um, was really solid. I haven't used Rabio this year. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about the front three. Okay, so you're probably looking at me like Michelle. These wingers cannot shoot. Okay, now I, I, I know. Um... What the fuck? I am very aware that their finishing is not the best. But, boys and girls, I did use Adama Traore's right back card as a forward, if you guys remember. And he was just so good, despite his low finishing. I've gone I've gone for a bit of a risk here. I know it, it's a massive risk. But I have picked up two lads with a similar finishing stat to, to Adama Traore. Just, just because... Adama was so good. That's totally wrong. Not to mention these two are both very, very similar to Adama Traore in that they are amazing at dribbling and have terrific place, uh, place, pace. Sorry, they, they both are super fast and really good at dribbling, especially Douglas Costa. I mean, look, if you ignore the finishing stats, boys and girls, look at how good this looks. Okay, 94 pace, 93 agility. Like, that is that is world class. Not to mention with the sniper chem style, which is uh, the same chem style that I put on, um, on Adama Traore, you do get a plus 30 finishing so I'm expecting a Douglas Costa to have no problem shooting. He is only a three-star weak foot, which honestly annoys me a little bit more. Similar to Adama Traore, who had a two-star weak foot. But look, boys, 7,500 coins. It doesn't come much better than that, okay? 93 agility and 94 pace. Like, this guy, other than that shit finishing, is absolutely incredible. 
And to finish off the squad builder, boys and girls, we have got Immobile. Now, just in case Quadrado and Douglas Costa can't finish the dinner, I've gone with the most prolific player in this game. I'm telling you, boys and girls, Immobile does not miss. Out of everyone I've used in this game, even Crespo, Immobile is my favourite finisher. Now, you can go with any Serie A strike here. So, you could go with, let's say you got a bit of money. You could go with Latoro Martinez as in form. Uh, you could go with uh, Muriel if you want to go super sweaty. Zapata's got an in form. There's a handful of guys you could use. But Immobile for me, boys and girls, he is my favourite Serie A striker. The guy is a beast. He finishes absolutely everything. And I absolutely love that. As for other upgrades in this team, boys and girls, you know, if you've got a little bit more money, you could go with an in form Tayson here. Obviously, he's got an in form that's about 30,000 coins. Could go with Matuidi instead of Rabio. He's about 10,000 coins, Matuidi. So, not too much of a steep upgrade. But by far, my favourite upgrade in this team, boys, is actually a free upgrade. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to the milestones, there is a right wing Politano. Now, this guy looks absolutely incredible. It's a little bit of a grind to get him, but it's definitely worth it. The guy looks incredible. He does fit in this squad builder, so you could 100% do that. And I, I would suggest you go out and do that because Politano's got the dribbling and the pace that Quadrado's got, but he's also got the finishing, and I think he has 90 long shots. The guy looks incredible. That's good shit, right? There. Speaking of Politano, boys and girls, you probably think of Michelle. You've gone for a little sly move here. You've gone with this little Serie A thing, you know, to try and get the Politano, which... You're not wrong, all right? I did, well, I was thinking that in the back of my head. I thought I could do two birds, one stone. But in fairness, boys and girls, it does not compromise this team whatsoever using Serie A players. The, the best part of this team, in my opinion, are the Serie A players. I'm um, just trying to think. I may have also done the Lazio objective. I think I have. So even if I score with a Mobile, uh, it won't matter because I've already scored goals uh, with the Lazio one. So that can't be done. I do need to do the Juventus ones, though. So obviously, if I score with Douglas Costa and Quadrado, it does incentivize me, you know, to, to, to that objective. Okay. So, boys and girls, let's talk about the custom tactics. So, we're going to be playing a 4 2 3 1. We're going to have Rabio and Cyprien as the CDMs. Taysom will play middle cam because he has really nice long shots, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to have Douglas Costa and Quadrado as the outside cams because they're going to be acting as more like wingers and support players for Immobile, who's going to be playing as the striker. Other than that, though, boys and girls, I'm really excited for this. It looks like an absolute banging squad builder, if you ask me. There's a lot of players in here I haven't used. There's some players I have used. But yeah, I'm just I'm ultimately very excited for this. I'm so stoked, my dude. So, boys and girls let's just jump straight into some gameplay the one two beautiful go on this is great stuff come on it's good sweat come on Tayson oh come on honestly Tayson that positioning was phenomenal as the middle cam getting in a goal scoring position great uh, pull across from uh, from Douglas Costa what a start boys oh come on where the fuck's my my, def my CDMs oh my god Defense is oh, absolutely brother, low with the place. This guy stinks. What? Where was? Where were the boys? Like what? What the? F no, no, don't you do that, My lads. I just, I don't. I'm playing really shit. Yes. And I don't know what to do about it. I, I'm gonna change this to a four triple two. I, I don't ever use the four triple two. But I'm gonna fucking try it because no, I I swear, man. Not gonna lie, I know the four two three ones like the meta formation. It doesn't gel with me quite the same as it does with other people. Where is it? I can't find it. Fuck it. We'll play the four one two on two. But I'm gonna put Quadrado as a centre mid. I don't give a shit at this point. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Mobile, done well. Yes. Rabio, play Douglas. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hello, video. Okay. Come on. This is good. Doug, what a touch from Douglas Costa. And the finish. I'm telling you, boys. You put that sniper chem style on people. They just turn prolific. Despite their finishing stat. What a decision, can I just say, changing the formation. It has worked phenomenally well. <laughs> Incredible. Into a mobile. Fantastic first touch. Into Tayson. He's done well. Oh, he's giving away Quadrado from CM. Come on. Mobile. The one, two. Cheeky. Keep running. Look at that through pass. Can he do it? He's got the strat. It's a mobile. He's a beast. He's got the weak foot. He doesn't use it, though. He uses right foot. We're going to get a rage quit in the 80 for a minute. And just for funsies. Well, boys and girls, it turns out that the formation change was the best thing that I could have possibly done. We were 2-1 down, was not playing great. I started alright, I started pretty decent, we obviously won it up, and then things just started to get a little bit 
a little bit shit. I wasn't creating too many chances in the 4-2-3-1, and I think the main the main problem with it, for me at least, is I think I just enjoy two strikers. So I think what we're going to do in the next game is try the 4 triple 2 I was going to change the 4 triple 2 but I could not find it, and I just thought, well, oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll try the 4 one 2 one 2 I, I'm used to it, I'll just have to play Quadrado as a centre mid, who is obviously, that's not his intended position. So yeah, I'll change into a 4 triple 2 we'll have Cyprien and Rabio as CDMs uh, like they were before. I'll have, shall I use Tyson up front or Douglas Costa? I'll use Douglas Costa. I think either one could easily play striker. Obviously, Tyson's got a little bit better better finishing than uh, than Douglas Costa, but Douglas Costa played really good at striker, so I'll probably play Douglas Costa in a mobile. Tyson is one of the cams. Quadrado is the other cam, and uh, that should work. Hopefully, that should work a lot better than the four triple two, uh, not the four triple, the four two three one. I hope you guys know what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, just a solid performance, boys and girls. Really enjoyed everyone on the pitch once I changed formations. Uh, Immobile was honestly having a quiet game, but he ended up uh, coming out of his shell and getting himself a goal. Did he get any assists? He did get an assist as well. Douglas Costa, a goal and three assists. What a performance. So, boys and girls, let's jump into game number two. Oh, Rabio's done marvellously well there. Drop it to Immobile. Turn. And back onto the right foot. Finesse shot. Oh, Immobile. I'm just trying to tell you guys. He's just so clinical. I don't know what it is about him. He does... I mean, he has good finishing. But I've used other people with good finishing. They don't bury that. They put that in row fucking Z. Good tackle from Mounier. Really good tackle. Good ball as well. Can we get a run? Into Quadrado. We'll wait for Douglas. What a pass that is. Chip it across. Oh, he's done. I knew he'd do that. And then Tayson. Yeah! Second goal for Tayson in the Epi. We're playing very, very well indeed. Good stuff. Good, good freaking stuff, lads. Can I tell you something? I love it. Give me a run. I'm seeing Douglas making runs. I've accidentally given it to Tayson. It was actually a nice pass. Fred it to nice. And then into... Oh, he's given it away. No, we still got it. Round two. Oh, no. No. All right. Give me some runs. Oh my god, are you seeing that pass? Volley! What a save. Quadrado, can he get there? Oh, what a block. Come on. It's, that's the work. Oh, Douglas done so. That was not a good pass from Immobile. Douglas Costa, lad. A 68 finishing my ass. That, I think, no, it's late. It's like 64. So that was a fucking lie. Are you seeing that? What a finish. Immobile. Excuse me. What the fuck? I mean, if we score, oh my goodness, please, Immobile, oh Immobile, you just, oh, we deserved a better finish there, because that was, that, whatever the fuck that pass was, was sexy. I want this inside of me. Oh, oh no, 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 what a save. That was a beastly save. Oh shit, my fucking earphone. Oh, come on. Oh, what? I've been absolutely done up. Frick! Oh. I've been playing well attacking, but defensively I've been shambolic. Lads, what's going on with this fucking... Oh, go on. On the counter. Completely out of nowhere, this. What a glorious pass. Spread it across. Taysom for the third of the epi. Come on. What a finish. What a counter attack from the boy. Damn, boy. All right, that should be game, but we might get one more chance. Oh, we, I think we will. Douglas Costa. Oh, not quite enough. That's game, though. There we go. Good. 4-1. We won the last game as well. So, boys, like, this is... This is something pretty goddamn good. I'm liking it. I'm liking this team. Yeah, boys and girls, not a lot to say. Like, that was just a great performance. Immobile scoring a great goal. Should have got two. He hit the post. So, so unlucky. Douglas Costa getting man in the match. I think he got a goal and a couple of assists. He did. So that was really good from uh, from Douglas Costa. Tayson also bagging himself a couple of goals. So, I can't ask for much more from the uh, from the attack. Defensively, we had a few few shaky moments. Obviously, we conceded that goal. It was pretty poor defending from me. I should have done better. But, yeah, just I, I can't really complain, boys. Like, we are on a bit of a winning streak on camera at the minute okay i haven't i can't remember the last time i've lost if we win our next game i think that's three episodes in a row that we haven't lost a game usually i'm saying that the other way around usually it's oh it's been this long since i've won a fucking game we're winning boys and i'm happy like this team is not a very expensive team so i'm um, you know I'm, I'm just happy that it's performing as well as it is so boys and girls we jump into one more game and hopefully hopefully we can bag ourselves the third win of the epi i'm really happy with the team so far boys and girls attackingly especially it's so much fun so boys and girls jumping into game number three Whip it into this area. Come on, Immobile. Show us what you've got. Oh, no! Come on. 
Immobile, BCZ, there we go. You know Immobile's not finishing it when he's not finishing. You know he's not missing it, sorry, when he's in that kind of position. He's prolific as ever. And uh, look at that, absolutely beautiful finish. Great pass as well. Oh, if you get, yes, he's got there, Taysen. Can he finish? Taysen hasn't missed a chance this whole freaking episode. He has been incredible. Everything I've given him, he's buried. I love you, bitch. Oh, why have you been nutmeg there, Sip? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Fucking Pembe, no, surely not. No, boys. How has this happened? Oh, God. Oh, God, we're really finished. We're actually really finished. We're really, we're, we're done. I be flossing. No, I was. I be no, flossing. please. Oh, boys, I'll tell you what I've just done. I think I, I, I was trying to put team press on, and I think I offside trapped. You're a fucking idiot. Always oh, giving it away. That's the team press that I wanted to put on Douglas Costa. Oh, come on, Douglas. That's the prolificness of the lad. He doesn't miss for some odd reason, despite having shit finishing. Right, this has turned into a bloody game. 3 0. This is good. Immobile. Ah! Uh, oh, he's giving away. Rabio, play it in. Cyprien, the absolute legend! How has he saved that? Oh, and now I'm gonna get counters. Where the fuck is Mounier? Oh, Jesus Christ, no! What is this? No! Oh, and Ennard got it! And he threaded it in his own net! Alright, that's it. Ah, how have we bottled that man? But that about concludes things, boys and girls. I'm disappointed not to get the win, but we did play a good game. I thought we were a little bit unfortunate. Obviously, I accidentally fucking offside pressed. Basically, I was fucking around with my looking at my D-pad whilst he was got through on goal, and it completely fucked me. I was trying to put de team press on, and I, I just fucked it completely. So, uh, yeah, that was my bad. So that goal was just me being an idiot. Uh, the other goals were pretty decent from him. He was a decent opponent, despite obviously doing the uh, the Politano objective. He he managed to bring it back pretty goddamn well, so fair play to him. But boys and girls, it does not take away from the fact that this team, at least from an attacking perspective, was absolutely mwah, phenomenal. Immobile, of course, just clinical as ever, finishes pretty much everything. He's just that good. Uh, you got Douglas Costa, who surprisingly finishes everything. Like I know he's finishing shit, but if you put that sniper chem star on him, boys, I'm telling you, he he, he, he was phenomenal with it. Taysen was absolutely insane. He also had the sniper chem star. I'm just saying, the sniper chem style is a fucking good chem star. I'm just just gonna say it. I really enjoyed Cyprien, boys and girls. Now, I know he's obviously not the most outstanding card out there or anything, but he just did his job. I know, obviously, he had a few mistakes and, uh, you know, just a few things that pissed me off, but I just really enjoyed him. He just felt good to me. Rabio felt fine. I felt his positioning was a bit shit, so uh, I, I, like I said, I would advise getting that Matuidi if you do do this team. And the defense was fine, boys and girls. Honestly, Kimbembe actually did stay back, and Eddie Militao was pretty good, obviously. Ariola was fine, and, and the fullback, well, the fullbacks weren't great, I will admit. Mounier wasn't, I, I I, when I used Munier before, I really enjoyed him. I maybe would also say get the Malqui uh, at right back because just just a few changes you can make. I mean, that's what I liked about this team, honestly, boys and girls. There's a lot of things you can do with it if there's you know to, to suit your preferences and, and whatnot. And obviously, you know, you can make upgrades if you want if, when you've got the money and stuff. But anyway. Anyway, enough babbling about this team, boys and girls. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to crack on and edit this. Uh, I had fun with this squad builder more than anything, boys and girls. It was a really good, fun squad builder. It was a nice open games, lots of scoring and stuff. So I, I had a lot of fun today. Okay, boys and girls, if you did enjoy this episode of The Rage of Glory, smash a like and subscribe. Look forward to a Politano review, hopefully, uh, in the next video. That should be fun. I've obviously, you haven't unlocked him yet, but I will be grinding that tonight to hopefully get him and obviously we'll review him. And I mean, he looks insane. I'm imagining he's going to be well worth the time and effort. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.